It's looking good. It's so straight. Yeah. Like looking down the line. It looks so nice. Puppies! It's gonna be so nice to just have them running around the yard. We've got all of our posts setting right now. We're doing a 48 inch fence. We dug our post holes two feet down. We're using um, extra strength concrete to set them. And um, here in a second, we'll start doing the grading, the bottom board, and then trimming the top. So, I spot right there. fencing update we have been working on the fence for what would you say as far as laying the fence two weeks about two weeks now um, I'm on the stump of the original tree we chopped down you can see we've made it we decided to do two separate pastures so there's the corner of the first pasture which we're gonna cut over today we cleared our path that's gonna go to that corner and then to the other side of the garage. Um, that'll be our first pasture. And then we'll put a gate on the outside of this one. If you can see on the outside of, this will be the corner. The gate will go past that corner. And then we'll gate the second one off um, behind that. Um, and that'll just be easier to let the horse graze in separate pastures and then have the dog separate from the horse if we wanna put the horse up in the further pasture. Um, not super big pastures, but the kids are really excited because they have all this open open area with no poison ivy that they can play in. They made their tree house today, their playing, playing survivor. But uh, it's definitely transforming. Our, um, our fence ended up being 50 inches instead of 48 just because the wire was a little bit taller than we originally had thought it was gonna be. Um, and we wanted to make sure the wire was completely covered by the top and bottom borders. So it's a 50 inch uh, fence with two feet being underground um, and cemented in. Um, it's really repetitive work. So that's why I'm kind of just showing progress updates rather than the entire process. Huh, Addie? <laughs>